Hello and welcome to a brand new era for the Epic Car Show and being the first episode of 2022 we thought we'd kick things off with a bang. Now most of us have dreams of ultimately owning a supercar one day but let's be honest they are a tad pricey so I wanted to know if I could find a better alternative for less money. This Lamborghini has without doubt one of the hottest paint jobs you will ever see and to much amazement this fresh looking Lamborghini is not brand new. In fact, it's 18 years old and worth over a staggering £100,000. And this Lambo has a very cool retro vibe to it, so let's take it outside for a better look. For a car that's nearly two decades old, you'll be foolish to think that this one is past its sell-by date. I mean, just look how it brightens up this gloomy day. When comparing this fresh-faced Lambo to a Ferrari 360 Spider of the same age, it's easy to say which one looks the most eye-catching. And yes, it may depend on how you look after it, but still, I can't help but think the Ferrari is missing that wow factor that the supercar owner craves. So by modern day car standards, you could easily drive this thing around and people would still take pictures of it. So there's no shame in being seen with anything that had success from 2004, unless it's Tony Blair. So let's take it out for a spin. I changed my mind, I don't want to drive it. And here's the thing, because cars like this are so rare, for every single day that they're gonna stay in a garage without being touched, they're gonna go up in value by a lot. So in terms of a tasty savings account, the Lamborghini is awesome, but I can't help but think if I owned one, I probably wouldn't even want to take it out because I'll be too worried about ruining this work of art. And it's not just the Lamborghini. Many supercar owners are spending less time driving them because they want to protect their investment. And for a cheaper alternative to the Lamborghini, you could also take a look at the first generation Audi R8. But because they have been one of the most affordable supercars, finding one that hasn't been driven hard isn't an easy task. So what's the solution? I'll tell you what the alternative is, it's this, and this is the Audi TTS. This particular Audi TT is a 2017 model, and did I mention it, it's 70,000 pounds less than the Lamborghini. 70,000! <laughs> I love it, I absolutely love this car. I want it, I want it, I want it, I want it, I want it. And you might be thinking, why on earth did I go for a car like this? And it's simple because in my opinion, this car does not get enough respect. And you might take a look at it and think, oh, it's just another hairdresser's car. But I want to peel back that stereotypical stigma and I want to find out what it is that makes this car so special. This Audi TT is jam-packed with cutting edge technology and it's complemented with sharp handling thanks to its Quattro all-wheel drive system. And everything feels remarkably refined, and being a high-performing powerhouse, you would have expected Audi to have removed some of the home comforts that the everyday driver desires, but no. In fact, for a sports car, this is pure luxury, and reliability won't be an issue either. But here's the thing, back in the olden days when we were allowed to sneeze in public, the Audi TT wasn't exactly what you call manly. This one, however, is a different animal. The front end looks evil, and I like it. And you can tell it's taken inspiration from the Audi R8. And the lights look sharp as if to say, get out of my way because I'm in one of those moods. And it's not just the front either. The back end is right up there with Jennifer Lopez. It comes with quad tailpipes, sportier trim, and everything just feels solid and well built. 
The Audi TTS is a great alternative for anybody who wants a bit of everything, not just a bit on the side. But in today's day and age, looks aren't everything. It's a two litre turbo petrol engine and it produces 292 horsepower. And in this day and age, that is plenty. Flipping egg, that is mental. This is a proper driver's car. And you can tell that Audi have thought about the entire driver's experience here because there's no screen in the middle, which is perfect if you've got no friends. And why would you want to go out with other people? Because this is the sort of car you want to drive on your own because it makes you feel like a hero. And there is something else that I find so endearing with this car. As soon as you take your foot off the accelerator and you just gently drive it around, it just feels like a normal Golf. It feels so comfy, everything's nice and quiet, and there's no screaming. But when you want to put your foot down and when you want to give it some grunt, oh my goodness. Yeah, it can shift. It doesn't have to scream. It doesn't have to brag with a big fancy wing. It just gets on with it. It just makes sense. But enough sensible chit chat, let's talk numbers. The Lamborghini Indivia will do 0 to 60 in 4.5 seconds and the Audi TT will do it in 4.6 seconds. So the biggest question you've got to ask yourself is, is 0 0.1 of a second really worth 70,000 pounds? So it's time to get you guys involved and I want you to let me know in the comments below which would you prefer if you had a choice of a Lamborghini Gallardo or an Audi TT with 70 grand in the bank. But before you leave your answer below, I want to chuck one more curveball at you. Car prices are shooting up, however soon enough there will most probably be a little drop again. And just by looking at older Audi TTs, it's fair to say that if you kept this one for another 10 years and used it for another 50,000 miles, it could still fetch around 10 to 14,000 pounds on average. But if you bought a Lamborghini and saved it for those special occasions on the other hand, it's most probably going to be worth a lot more. How much? I can't say because I can't predict the future. But if history has taught us anything, it's that old Lambos are worth an absolute fortune. And if you want to have a closer look at both of these beauties, then don't forget to head on over to fratellicars.com where you will also find some pretty epic motors. And don't forget to subscribe because our next video is going to be an absolute belter.